making today. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of what it's like making 30 or 40 western cedar flutes by hand, one at a time, for lots of people. But uh, this is one of the end products. It's the next step in the in the process from being one of these guys. This is one of the G and F sharp blanks. Um, like I say, just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like to make these kind of things by hand. You know, what is a Native American flute? Some of my favorite and best customers asked me if we um, outsource our flutes, if we have somebody else making them for us, probably from out of the country or imported or made by someone who's not Native American. Nope. <laughs> uh, I would suggest, though, that this person asked a very valid question because when you go to a website and find a flute, a Native American flute handmade, which I know from experience 10 years ago they were going for $250, $300 for most people, not me, but for most people. Um, when you find those kind of flutes on a website for $35, you really should ask where they're from and uh, ask if the person is making every step of the way by hand or if they're getting a flute in from some other country that was, uh, you know, completely constructed when they got it and all they do is stamp their name on it. Uh, you know, also you might want to ask if they're North American Indians making the flutes or if they're Central or South American Indians making the flutes. Uh, I'm not singling anybody out or saying that somebody's one way or the other. I just think that we should all say what it is that we're doing. And uh, at least, you know, if it's not for legality purposes, at least try to be honest for your own personal good. But, uh, but anyway, like I said, just wanted to show y'all what some of these flute kits look like as we're making them. I think we made, this is five double flute kits here, and you see me routing a lot of other pieces earlier in the video. Uh, the other flutes, of course, are our G and F sharp flute blanks like I was telling you about. There's still a little bit more needs to be done to those guys. Um, and then we have a lot of our A western cedar flutes and traditionally tuned western cedar flute blanks that I was working on. Uh, this guy right here is like 90% completed before we finish the process, before we're sending it on to you or whoever may decide they need one. And uh, like I say, in the process, there's a few other steps we got outlined that'll tell you what we're doing next and where it's going from here. And then when you receive a flute kit from us, um, you know, they're uh, pretty much between 85 and 90% completed as far as the flute making process, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But as you've seen, you know, our wood comes into us and we cut it up into little pieces and it's laying all over the shop. That's why my shop's always a mess, so sorry about that. It was actually cleaned two days ago and I know I promised a video when it was clean. This is as good as it gets, guys. But uh, anyway, like I said, just wanted to show you a little bit of Native American flute making. I know a lot of you are thinking, oh no, there's some big corporate businesses out there. They're going to start using these techniques and whatever, or even individuals to make flutes and it's going to take away from my business. People are going to do that regardless of whether I show them or not what I'm doing. So any of you guys that want to learn how to do this kind of thing yourself, more power to you. Uh, I do these videos to empower you and to help you learn how to help yourself, not not to uh, make money off of them. Although a lot of you, fortunately, have come to our website and, and uh, found need in some of our flutes, which I thank you all very much. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to, to give you an idea of how these things are made and maybe give you a little bit of education about uh, the Native American flute. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of flutes on the market out there that I may have an opinion one way or the other about, that I may not believe they're made by Native Americans, that they're not, um, you know, even made in this country. Uh, but that's my opinion. You know, really, it's your opinion that counts. And, uh, uh, you know, I'd love to flash up a little blurb at the end of pictures of my grandparents, because I think that's more important than any card that I have. That I have my wallet. I thought about flashing that little guy up, too. But... Indian people are real particular about giving their number out, but uh, but anyway, like I said, you know, these are definitely Native American flutes, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy our flute making videos. Once again, this one was made for a customer uh, upon a request of a customer that was wondering about uh, the flute making process to making all of our blanks. Another customer had asked where we get our wood from, which I thought was kind of a strange question because countless times I've mentioned we buy our wood in a lot of of uh, lumber yards, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Ace Hardware sometimes. Uh, I have a good friend named Tom who uh, supplies me with a lot of our red cedar 
like uh, some of these beautiful, this is a D red cedar flute compared to western cedar. It's a little different color. The tag I showed earlier on the video said that this is a western red cedar wood. It's not really red to me, but that's because I'm from the southeast where red cedar is really red. Um, but it's a beautiful wood. It is a cedar wood. It is a conifer. It's, you know, no less cedar than any other cedar. This kind of over here, the red one, is the one that gets struck by lightning all the time. You know, it's countless times. But our western cedar flutes are absolutely beautiful. This one's not finished yet, of course. This is going to be a G or an F sharp. I'm thinking it's a G. Let's compare and contrast these guys. Oh, it is a G. Boy, I have a fairly good eye. <laughs> Still. But, uh, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys, like I say, enjoy our videos. If you have any questions or comments, always feel free to post them. I love getting those. And a lot of our regular um, customers, uh, people that watch our videos, that is, and viewers, uh, everybody out there that, that sees these videos, um, you regular guys, thank you guys all so much for coming back and asking questions. Thank you also that one guy for uh, who I'll remain anonymous, but uh, thank you so much, Jeff, uh, for... Uh, helping us keep our website straight by pointing out things once in a while. To, uh, to thank you guys, like I say, for watching our videos. Um, so uh, if you ever have any more questions, always feel free to shoot them our way. And don't forget to check out our website, which is bluebearflutes.com, and also our Facebook page, which is Blue Bear Arts. if you just search that on Facebook. Uh, you know, so lots of uh, good ideas out there, you guys, and uh, don't ever feel afraid to exercise any of them. Uh, like I say, it's... It's a big world. <laughs> so y'all take care and happy fluting. This is Charlie Montotuyela signing out.